From earlier today, a lot of these folks in the OMAC area north of town where these fires are burning, if they wanted to protect their property, it was up to them. There are many critical moments like this one north of OMAC in Okanagan County today. Michael Whitley's working to stop a fire from jumping a road with his property on the other side of it. He's been up all night to try to keep that from happening. With these south winds, it's going to burn straight to OMAC, so keep it, keep it contained. As people do here, he got some extra help. Dina Snell drove by, put her pickup truck in park, and used her hands to help throw dirt on the fire. <laughs> Devastating. Extremely devastating. People are exhausted and they're not giving up. In some areas, there was nothing standing in the way of the fast moving fire. It burned through several trailer homes in this area northwest of town. And while property is lost, many chose to heed evacuation orders and get out of there with their safety intact. You've been on some fires before and haven't really seen much like this, huh? Never, never seen any fires like this. There's, there's more of them. And the whole northern part of this state is covered with fires. And now it's creeping down toward you. It is there, you might say. It's already there. Well, and this is what he's talking about. Uh, this is OMAC, and then we see uh, this huge fire here, and then another one uh, also north of town. As we said, uh, that noon press conference to tell us how much property has been lost, other information from this fire, anything with injuries like that, still working on that information here at the Fire Command Center, and we expect this press conference, this media conference, to get underway a little bit later here during the noon hour. Uh, Laura, we'll send it back to you.